Uh, she's all nice and clean now, so we're going to take uh, the old the old jet over here that is probably frozen. Shut. i break this handle. What's up, guys? Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. It's 6.50 in the morning. I'm about to go to a dentist appointment. Get these big teeth uh, cleaned. But this is what... This is what we're dealing with right now. It feels like negative 13. Feels like negative 13 to me. It feels like negative 13 for the truck. I'm about to head out there and give you guys the coldest cold start of the season. And this will probably be one of the coldest for the year. There's not too many days when it gets this cold. But when it does, I mean, it's just cold. I, that probably sounds really stupid to you guys, but no, no, literally. It's just like hard to explain. It's just. You're just cold. All right, guys, here we go. Yeah, as you can see, this is from the other day. It rained. The whole truck is iced over. I'm probably gonna uh, try and pull this inside at work today, let this uh, all defrost and melt. Feels like negative four right there. What are you doing? Oh, Just for reference, that last clip was a minute and 46 seconds. My hands, my face, my mouth, everything is frozen. It is so cold. This is actually ridiculous. Like, I'm not saying like, I hate the cold and stuff like that. Let me put it on defrost up front, but uh, like this doesn't bother me. But as a truck builder and like car guy, uh, it bothers me because I can't do stuff I want to do because it's so darn cold. I can't do, I can't work on my truck outside. I can't do mods outside. So just as a, like a truck, you know, lover and like enthusiast, it kind of sucks. Uh, it really, really limits you. Uh, all the, that's, <laughs> I got a comment the other day on the Instagram that was like, oh, the salt's gonna ruin the truck. And I'm like, based on the road conditions when I drove this last, there was definitely not a speck of salt on the road. That was awful. So um, I'm definitely gonna pull it inside today if I can, uh, if there's room. And, and just let it, you know, melt all, all, all the way off because uh, I don't want this ice and slush and stuff all over my truck anymore. And look at that. Okay, we're up to about 96 degrees on the truck, which is awesome. Idling for a little bit here, but man, it was cold. I wish I, I wish I was showing you guys that at the beginning. See where we were at. We're about to hit 100, so there we go. And I mean, that was... That was uh, unplugged in as well. That was, you know, just raw. You saw how fast, you know, this truck started. And that's awesome. Love this thing. It's legit so cold. My heated steering wheel just feels like, uh, you know, is in the car on like a 50 degree day right now. It just feels like less than room temp. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but we got diesel at 279 and gas at 173. Some of the lowest gas prices I've seen in a long, long time. As you can see, there's little like snowflake frost kind of things on my windshield. I mean, it's just cold.
yeah, this thing is like disgusting. I, it's gonna get uh, melted off today, that's for sure. I'm gonna meet up with you guys after work when we pull this beast inside to uh, defrost this and uh, we're gonna touch up that one little rock chip on my grill. Okay, so update here. This thing is absolutely plastered. That is not a good look. This side, same thing, absolutely plastered. Uh, this is definitely uh, pretty much everything melted. The sun was out today, so it is kind of melted, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it. I'm actually probably gonna power wash this thing off, and then I'm gonna take it inside and let it melt. <laughs> Okay guys, so obviously this thing isn't like factory and like summertime clean. There's still some ice dripping from different locations, but however, most of the main parts are clean. As you can see, the frames are clean, wheels are clean, the paint is all clean. Back here, so the shocks are clean, frames are clean, wheels are clean, just kind of dripping off here. Still some ice on the bumper, trying to let that uh, melt, but I don't think I'm gonna wait long enough for it to uh, completely melt off here definitely clean and that's what matters okay so in the uh, low budget body shop here we've got that little section uh, we've got that little section taped off we're gonna shoot with some gloss black and then we're gonna shoot it with some clear uh, obviously as you can see how this is like this don't shoot the paint this way shoot it into your coverage and uh, all of this should cover the overspray just fine So, yep, that's about covered, and we're gonna let that dry for a second here. Okay, so in the next upload, I'm thinking about doing a Q&A, and if I did, it would be um, through my Instagram, uh, the Instagram stories, where you can ask questions. That's where I would do it, and I could just gather all the questions from there and answer them in the video, opposed to on the Instagram story. Uh, I feel like that'd be the easiest way to do it. Um, if you guys are down for a Q&A, let me know in the comments below, and uh, the day after this video goes live uh, check my Instagram story sometime during the day and I'll, I'll put the question thing a uh, little question box up and you can ask away and in the next video I'll answer all those questions and we can go over I mean, whatever you guys want to know kind of in between here while you know parts are waiting to come in and uh, this build going from this to like Daytona and SEMA style um, and the cold weather kind of sucks because I can't get out there do much and like I said, salt is just gonna wreck this truck. So uh, that's probably the last time I'm actually gonna be driving it in weather like that. Um, I kind of had no choice, but from now on, I'm definitely gonna make a effort to not drive it in this kind of weather. But while this is drying, definitely a couple things. Uh, when I do, slash if I do the bodyguard bumpers, I kind of was thinking about doing the bank's intercooler at the same time, because the bumper will already be off and that can run all the piping and stuff at the same time, which which might be uh, a good idea considering, you know, you see the intercoolers down there. Um, that might be a, a good opportunity to do that. So I, I was thinking about that, but worst comes to worst, I could probably just pop the bumper off and do that whenever. But I really wanna do, I really wanna do the bank's intercooler, the boost tubes and the intake horn. In the meantime, like I said, it, we're probably about a month out, three to four weeks on that 10 inch lift, 10 to 12 inch lift. So uh, as we're waiting for that and the powder on that, we're gonna be doing a lot of interesting small little things um, that hopefully we can knock out. This looks to be just about dry here. I mean, it was quick, it's pretty warm in here. So we're gonna take what is left of this 1K uh, clear and we're just gonna shoot this with some uh, high gloss clear here. All right guys, we got all of the uh, tape off in the grill and that rock chip is protected so we won't have any problems there. Yeah, there she is. Right, 
solid four miles, five miles an hour. Take her easy, don't want to ruin the fresh wash. Aha, uh -huh. see, like I said, these roads are absolutely fine. Uh, it's just like that back row, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this home, and I'm gonna park this thing, and I'm not gonna drive until these roads are clean again. <laughs> Uh, she's all nice and clean now, so we're gonna take uh, the old the old jet over here That is probably frozen Shut I'll Break this handle Okay, so guys, I'm definitely stuck in like a like, like a hard place right now but kind of a hard place because With my lift and stuff about a month out. Wait, on, let's see go this way Yeah, it's cold in this car, but um my lift and stuff about a month out and with this weather being so darn cold it's like mods and stuff i'm trying to think of what i can do to the truck and bring you guys all some content in the meantime uh, i kind of want to do like a winter beater build but you now i was looking and i'm like there's an awesome jeep i definitely want to bring a jeep build to this channel because i love my jeep when i had it but i don't know if now is the time i really didn't want to go out and spend 10 grand right now especially with a, a build that big coming in i mean that that's a good twenty thousand dollar build to go from you know where i'm at to like daytona sema quality so it's like i'm just trying to find a happy medium now i try to find a happy medium where i can bring you guys some awesome content but at the same time um i, I kind of want to do another build but i'm also like that build's gonna be freaking massive so it's like i'm trying to hold off so in the meantime guys uh, let me know what you're trying trying to see, what you want to see, if you guys are interested in seeing something, whether it's truck related, um, stuff like that. Um, I, I kind of want to do another build, but I'm like, a Jeep would be kind of tight as like a summer build because you could take the doors off and cruise and stuff. Um, so I'm just trying to see, timing is a little awkward right now because with the truck bill going on, uh, I'm trying to bring you guys content that I've wanted to bring you, but at the same time, it's like, I can't do certain mods because it's freezing outside and I also can't do certain mods because I kind of want the other, like the other parts to come in first to get it all done. So it's just an awkward time. So if you guys want to, are interested in seeing anything, let me know in the comments below if you guys have any uh, questions or information. Obviously, if you guys want to see the Q&A, let me know. And if there's anything like you guys are very interested in, and I can break down a video for you, let me know as well. But in the meantime, before I'm out of gas, I'm going over to pick up some wings. <laughs> and if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you know I have a chicken wing problem. Uh, kind of. I, I love love chicken wings so uh, i'm thinking like when i get down to daytona if i get down early enough and there's anyone else in the area uh, i kind of want to have like a, a wing a wing night in daytona uh, a bunch of you guys can come we could crowd the you know i don't know if it's a b-dubs or whatever parking lot all our trucks line them up stuff like that i think that'd be super neat so if you guys are interested in that like if i get down to daytona a little bit early slash even after daytona is done Maybe we could go and crash a uh, you know a wing any any wing restaurant down there have a gigantic wing night with a bunch of you and a bunch of trucks and stuff. So let me know if you guys would be totally interested in that. But uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna head out right now in the little uh, the old jet, which is funny because one time I was in a parking lot and somebody scratched the or scraped the the Jetta's J E T T A. They scrapped the T A off, so it just said jet. So I'm gonna call this the jet from now on. And as long as my back, I can't see out the back, so we're just gonna go for it. Everything's frozen, but yeah, there we go. I'm not getting that truck dirty for a long time because I don't want to let the salt rust my stuff together that I can't put the new 12-inch uh, lift on. Uh, yeah, guys, and that was about it. The uh, uh, the camera battery was so darn cold it uh, wouldn't turn the camera on after that uh, clip there so uh camera's all warmed up now day later we're we're back at this um about to edit this video you're about to watch it's gonna be 42 or something tomorrow which is bizarre because it's like negative 14 and then it's gonna be 42 such a huge turnaround but um then again i'm gonna take the truck i'm gonna go wash it again even though i haven't driven it since i washed it which has been like i said today i didn't drive it at all but that's part of the game if you're gonna drive it in weather like that you gotta keep it clean you gotta get underneath there and take care of that truck your vehicle whatever it is so in the meantime 
uh, truck's parked out front. Let me show you. She's parked there. Look at how clean she is. Jetta got a huge uh, help in a salt and slush and schmuck today. But truck is shining clean. No salt anywhere on that uh, on that old girl. And that's that. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw I posted a story that I went and I uh, ordered up some. Something at the dealership that I'm going to pick up here very soon. So get excited for that. It's part of the build that is not on the rendering. It's something I didn't have on the rendering because it was like up in the air. But you know what, I decided right now that's probably something I can do. I can get them painted, stuff like that. So stay tuned for that video. Picking them up Thursday. Uh, yeah, picking them up Thursday and Friday I'm going uh, on a little trip that you guys are going to enjoy as well. So stay tuned because it's about to get it's about to get pretty cool here So in the meantime, I want to say thank you guys for watching take care if you haven't been here before Feel free to get that feel free to get down there and click subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video